Are you tired of struggling to find a profitable trading strategy? Well, in this video, I'm going to put a Volatility Index 75 scalping strategy to the ultimate test. Recently, I stumbled upon a YouTube video where a trader claimed to have turned a measly $2 account into over $435 using this very strategy. Naturally, my curiosity was piqued, and I decided to test it out myself. To my surprise, I made over $200 in profits from a $40 account. But here's the thing, we can't just rely on one-off results to determine the efficacy of a trading strategy. That's why I'm taking it one step further and backtesting the strategy a hundred times to find its true win rate. Join me on this exciting journey to uncover whether this strategy is the real deal and can help you achieve your trading goals. Before we dive into the exciting world of backtesting, let me first give you a brief overview of how this powerful strategy works. Using just three indicators, including two moving averages and the MACD, this strategy has the potential to transform your trading results. So here are the settings you'll need to get started. The first moving average has a period of 100, a shift of zero, and uses the linear weight method applied to the close. The second moving average has a period of 10, a shift of zero, and also uses the linear weight method, but is applied to the previous indicator's data. Finally, add the MACD with fast settings of 12, slow settings of 26, MACD settings of 9, and apply it to the close. Once you've added these indicators to your chart, you're ready to start identifying powerful buy and sell signals. And don't worry, I'll give you some real-life examples of how this strategy works, so you can start using it for yourself in no time. Okay, it's time to see this strategy in action with some real-life examples. Let me walk you through two trades I took using this very strategy on the Volatility Index 75. In the first trade, I waited for the green moving average to cross below the red moving average, which was the first confluence we needed to enter a sell trade. Next, I looked for the MACD to cross below the zero level, which was the second confluence we needed. Once we had both of these confluences, it was time to enter the trade, and just like that, I made a whopping $200 profit on a small account. It's really that simple, folks. Now let's take a look at a buy trade. This time, we look for the green moving average to cross above the red moving average, which is the opposite of the sell trade. Once we've got that, we confirm that the MACD is above the zero level, and voila, we enter a buy trade and watch our profits grow. As you can see, this strategy is both powerful and easy to use. But before we get too excited, let's put it to the ultimate test and see if it can withstand the rigors of backtesting. Alright, it's time to put this strategy to the ultimate test. Backtesting. I'll be trading the Volatility Index 75 on a 5-minute time frame with a $100 account, risking 2% per trade. But before we dive into the results, let me share a major observation I made during this backtest. While this strategy is powerful and easy to use, it does come with one significant drawback. Most of the trade signals are delayed. This can cause you to miss out on a significant portion of the move, which would require a larger stop loss and could even lead to losing trades that could have hit take profit if you had a tighter stop loss. So if you decide to try this strategy out for yourself, make sure to keep a close eye out for that. But enough talk, let's get into the back test results and find out what the actual win rate of this strategy is. After back testing the strategy a 100 times targeting a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio for every trade, these are the results I got. The strategy had a 47% win rate which doesn't sound so good, but keep in mind, we were using a 1 to 3 risk to reward ratio, so we managed to triple the account making a profit of $217. The largest win that I got was $13.53 and a loss of $4.25. This is an amazing result and proves that this strategy is indeed profitable if you use proper risk management. I am also confident that this win rate can be improved if you backtest this strategy using a different risk to reward ratio as it can improve if you use a lower one. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to join me on this exciting journey towards discovering the most profitable trading strategy.
Don't miss out on any future videos by turning on notifications, and feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts and suggestions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.